Log on for the latest local news. bbc.co.uk slash Cornwall. Debbie McCrory. BBC Radio Cornwall. I have a young author in my midst. We've met once before with his very successful first book. And now Alistair Hoswell is back with his second. How are you, Mr. Hoswell? I'm very well. How are you, Debbie? I'm fine. That's what they call you because you're a teacher, aren't you? That's right, yeah. Teacher at Pencoys Primary School near Four Lanes. And what age? Four-year-olds and five-year-olds. So it's reception, that first year of school. So the parents will be going in very nervous. The children might be a little bit nervous as well. Do you have a sort of situation where, because you've got new ones coming in September, haven't That's you? That's right. Yeah, there are new children coming in and I've already met quite a few of those children already. So I'm really looking forward to getting to know all their personalities. And we do lots of like stay and play. So they get a chance to get to know us and the parents get to know us. So it's not such an overwhelming thing for them. Do any of the parents come to you and go, this summer break's been so long, please take them back? <laughs> yeah, we have had that in the past like before, but I, I I think it's just amazing to spend that time like with your children like yeah it's great isn't it yeah. go out and have loads of adventures and have fun exactly now um not only are you busy being a teacher but where do you find time to be an author as well oh i know it's hard trying to find the time but it's such a passion for me to illustrate and to write it's just something that comes to me in my spare time i will draw pictures i'll illustrate i'll paint and it's a way for me to relax so i so i always usually use that time to create things really so this book is used from start to finish yes the drawings are lovely by the Way. Oh, thank you so much. So where did the idea... So the first one was about brushing your teeth, wasn't it? It was. And now we're talking about there's something nasty in the pasty. You want me to say that way? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you've got to say, yeah, that's right, the Cornish way. <laughs> <laughs> where did the idea come from? Well, this came from an idea of basically being very inspired by Cornwall. I wanted to be inspired by the land around us because we live in such a beautiful place. Cornwall is stunning. Mm. And just the thought of when you're making a pasty, sometimes when you go further away from Cornwall, pasties can look a little bit different. And some of the things that go inside pasties can be different, different ingredients. So I wanted to play around with the idea of that and perhaps putting a few things in the pasty that are really nasty <laughs> or that children will find fun. Um, and I kind of went with that idea, really. So we start off and we find out more about Callum. Where did the name Callum come from? Is it anyone you know? I just thought it was a cute name, really, like a really lovely name for him. And when I was designing the characters, I was thinking of lots of different names. And, I th and Callum just immediately came to me. He just became Cal Callum. So I thought, well, he's going to be Callum. He kind he, of yeah, he's a lovely boy. He's a lovely yeah. looking boy. I can kind of nickname him uh, Cornish Callum. <laughs> Cornish Callum, lovely. Yeah. Uh, so the idea came from, sometimes you talk to your pupils, don't you? Because they're at that right age, aren't they? Yeah. To say sort of like what they think goes on in the world, don't oh, they? Oh, absolutely. Lots of my ideas do come from what the children tell me. They tell me amazing little stories and fantastic things. I think, oh, I could put that in my book and I can use that for my story. So that, yeah, working with the children is wonderful. So we've got a pasty here and you've actually given us a real ingredient, which is what we like. Yeah. A proper way to make a pasty. Whose ingredient is that? We were talking about 30 years of food in the programme oh, today. Yes. And no one makes a pasty like their own mum or their of grandma. Course. So is that, is that where you got your recipe Yeah, from? it's a family recipe. Yeah, definitely. And it's and I think, you know, if you follow those family recipes, you can't go wrong because like you say, your mum, your gran, all those people know how to make these perfect pasties. <laughs> 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 lovely so what does callum get up to then well in the story he goes to lots of different places in cornwall so there's some there's a few famous Corn cornish landmarks within the book uh, to look out for and he goes on lots of adventures it's his summer holidays he's spending it with his nanny door and he's having a wonderful time and he doesn't really like vegetables and things that are usually found in a pasty so he's 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 more attracted to the chocolate and the sweets uh which i can't blame him because they what are lovely child but, isn't? <laughs> yes, but not every single day you know you can't have that all the time even though chocolate and sweets you know are exciting but hopefully pasties will be too so where do you want this adventure to go then because this is your second book now this is aimed at the same age that you teach yeah same age group so i guess anyone can enjoy it from four year four years you know onwards anybody can enjoy the storybook um i'm just hoping that people will enjoy it and get to capture a part of cornwall as well I think your drawings are delightful. Oh, Who's thank this you. lovely lady? That's based Callum's on... mum. <laughs> yeah. Based on anybody you know? <laughs> it could be like my mum a little bit as well. But obviously but Callum's mum's blonde. Yeah, of course <laughs> My mum's brunette. Yeah. <laughs> well, mum must be very proud as well. Yeah. Uh, lovely to see you. I know you've got yeah. a really busy week coming up. Yeah. Uh, so what is the best bit about going back to school to teach? 
it's, it's it'll be brilliant to see those children again i mean my current class have now moved on to year one so it'll be brilliant to see them and i'll obviously get to know all my new children and it's just fun just to get to back into that routine and just to start you know changing helpfully changing people's lives and yeah. helping them and helping the school it's just brilliant it's good fun Oh, lovely. Lovely to see. If you like, people would like There's Something Nasty in my pasty, where can they get it? Well, at the moment, it's available through me, through my Facebook page. So if you search at Alastair Hoswell with a D, Alastair with a D, you can find my book on there and it brings up my author page. But I am in recent discussions at the moment, some talks with some local bookshops to hopefully stock that. And so hopefully if you look out in your local bookstores, you might see it there soon. Fabulous. Yeah. Have a great week back, Mr. Hoswell. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> 